in this video i'll be showing you how you can set up gmail as a sending profile in gofish let's get right into this so i have a gmail set up here and i'm just going to edit this so we have a few options here and the first thing you need is a gmail i have one i want to use here and the first thing you need to note is you have to enable two-step verification on that account so if you go to my account.google.com slash security you should be able to enable two-step verification here so after enabling two-step verification the next thing you need to do is create an app password so you can't use your regular email password to send emails on external services and you have to generate app passwords for that so to do that go to my accounts.google.com slash app passwords select the email you want to use and generate an app password for that service so i'll create one for gofish then i'll click on generate so you need to copy this out because when you close this box you won't be able to copy this again so i've copied this and i'm just going to click on done so let's go back to gofish we'll set our email as the smtp from then the next thing you need to set properly is the host so we need to set this as smtp.gmail.com and we need to set a right port i'm using 465 here so the whole thing is smtp.gmail.com colon 465 set your email as the username and i'm just going to delete this password and paste the app password i copied so let's send a test email i'll send this to my other email and let's send email sent so let's check out if we got this boom i have this here so this works and i've been able to set up gmail properly to send emails from gofish so the setup i'm using here is gofish on aws by hillbyte so this is a very fast and secure way to set up gofish on the cloud and this doesn't even cost up to a dollar and it has a free trial so check this out very easy way to set up gofish i'll leave a link to this in the description below so to recap what we've learned today um, make sure you have two-step verification enabled on your account and make sure you set up an app password then also set up the proper host in the host section here so if you enjoyed this video and you learned something from this don't forget to like comment share and subscribe if you have any questions about this leave them in the comments below and i'll see you in the next video